Hey y'all, welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping back by. All right, so I am just shooting through these videos. I wanna get all this stuff um, filmed for you guys so that I can get everything put up. We, after we left the flea market yesterday, well, actually that's not true. Before we went to the flea market, we um, went to an estate sale. We were there before they opened, um, got there about 10 or 15 minutes before. Do you remember the estate sale I went to just the other day where I got the antique photo album with all those amazing photographs? Um. I went there on Thursday. Well, Saturday was their half off day. And so Greg and I wanted to go look at a piece of furniture, which I will insert here. So that was a great find. Um, we, uh, have, Greg has been looking for something to go in our bathroom. Now he wanted something like what's in our kitchen where um, the white um, piece of furniture that ha have a lot of the ironstone in, we just haven't been able to find one. So I really thought that was cute and there was nowhere else to put it so we're putting it in our bathroom. Uh, I'm not done styling it. Once I get it styled, I will show you guys how I styled it. Now, if we can ever come across what he's actually looking for, we will put that piece in our booth. Um, if you're new, if this is your first time to our channel, we are preparing to um, hopefully go into a store in about a year or so. So we're kind of buying things for that so that we will be able to have it stocked. But anyway, so we got that. It's the first thing we bought because it was half off. Uh, and then once we secured that, we just kind of walked around, looked for a few things. Um, we saw another amazing piece of furniture up in the bathroom upstairs, but we just got the one. Then we went into the garage and I didn't even see this sitting there when I was there Friday. It was probably buried, but it was, um, this, it's not marked ironstone. It's actually, um, restaurant wear and it kind of goes with the green restaurant wear dishes that I've been collecting but I do have some that don't have color to it that have this I don't know heart or whatever so for seven dollars I was excited to find this it probably is you know ironstone it's just not marked it's not actually marked anything but um so for seven dollars I did not mind paying that and I've been kind of secretly wanting this we also found in the garage, I think everything was in the garage. There was some dishes that we wanted in the house. Um, it was, I'm not gonna say this right, English countryside dishes. They're very similar to the um, coaching scene dishes. They were blue and white and the whole entire set, I mean, there were, everything was would have been like $75, but the last thing I really need is another set of dishes, um, especially blue and white dishes. But honestly, I was thinking about for my booth because they were amazing, but didn't get those. Somebody got those, those were amazing. I did grab this um, for $2.50. I got another carpenter ruler and it's just plain. Now it's plastic, it's the first plastic one that I have. And then for another $2.50, I got this one. Greg saw this and I didn't really know, I had seen what it was, but the case is very cool. There's no markings on it. I don't know who the maker was, but look at this really case. It was $12.50 and it's a pair of, maybe it'll tell me on here. Um, I haven't Google lensed them or anything. It's, okay, I'm gonna have to spell it. Copitar, C-O-P-I-T-A-R um, binoculars. He has a pair of Nikon, but I don't, I don't know, I guess he doesn't like them. And he said these were really great um, binoculars. So for $12.50, he grabbed these up. He did tell me, he said, now you can decorate with them if you want, but I'm gonna be using those. But I love the, the case, I can't get it to close. Maybe he can. We also, this was like, there were two, one of these things I wanted to look at, and I thought they had sold the first day, but then I kind of saw it sticking out behind something. So this was $10. It's so filthy. I've got to clean it up, but I'm going to get this in my patriotic decor 
um, but it's a picture of this soldier. This is from like the 40s. And then this is the back of the frame. But I don't want to, I kind of want to take it apart and see if there's anything written on it, but also I'm afraid I'll tear it up and won't get it back together because it's like rusty old nails kind of holding them in there. But I love pictures like this. Um, and just, you know, first of all, I don't want to see them go to the landfill. And second, they're great for, you know, decorating with patriotic decor. Then we found this back behind, it was by that picture, but it was all hidden. Um, I have Google Lens this. I can't come up with the maker of it, but I can tell you that, well, I thought it said May, but I think it's Max um, Waller. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I can't read. Max was the first name. Walter, maybe. And then Archie Myers used this awesome baseball glove. Look at that. I did Google Lens enough to know that this is from the 40s. I just don't know the maker. There's the... So this is gonna go with all my baseballs for my summer decor. Now, we also, that sale was from eight to three. So we ran back, we got there at 2.40 to purchase this. That was the great piece of furniture that was in the bathroom. Um, it was 50% off and I did at get a better deal on it. Uh, the light, one of the ladies in the morning told me, she said, if you come back around 1.30, they'll be making even better deals. And at first the lady wasn't going, the lady I had to go talk to, she wasn't going to. And so I just said, your lady outside told me that if I came back, that you would give me a better deal. So she gave me a little bit of better deal, but um, I love that piece of furniture. And, it was one of those things where I knew that I just didn't have any place for it. It won't go anywhere downstairs. I can't make it work in my bedroom. Clearly, as you could see, um, it's too big for my bathroom. But my daughter has a space where I have um, an area where I just have like those cubicle pieces of furniture where you put the, you buy the little, you know, cube boxes and you slide in. I can't think of what it's called. I'm going to take that out and put that there. Um, and it'll look really nice with the bed that she has. And then we can just put all her stuff in there. I'm going to do that. I probably will end up selling that piece of furniture as much as I love it. It's just not going to work out. Um, you know, at least I can love on it for a little while and then I'll be able to find a home for it for somebody that's going to appreciate it as much as I am. So, we also went to, now the estate sale before that, the very first one, the one that we went up to in Gulletsville that, you know, I was looking for a certain few things and I didn't get anything I wanted. We did buy just three, well, four things from them. Now, once I got out in the sunlight, I realized, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this clean, but I have one of these and I've been trying to get the set and I've just been, haven't been able to get it. But I did find these, somebody spray painted them because I paid $10, $5 a piece for these. Um, and they are metal, they are stamped, made in Italy. I do like them, but I was able to get a set of these. Now, I've got to get some acetone or something and see if I can get the um, uh, paint that's on, got on the glass off. I may keep I mean, I like these for $5. I definitely like these. If I can get them cleaned up really good, and if I could find the one that matches like size-wise, the one that I have, I might actually sell these. And then Greg got, y'all know he's been on a kick, and he kind of laughed about this and was talking like, he does not understand why he remembers this so much, but um, he got another planner of baby shoes he was telling me that he even remembers the plant that was in the one that his mom brought home when she had his sister. <laughs> so then to keep his collection going, he picked up this. And I think these were, th I don't know, because the pictures were 10 and we spent 19. So one of these was five and one of 
these was, this was probably four and this was five probably. But he, that is cute. You know, no, it, I'm gonna say he's gonna put this in the booth. <laughs> we'll see, cause I don't know where we'd put any of that. All right, very, very quick estate sale haul. Um, but I did want to show you those pieces of furniture. And just as soon as I get the one in our bathroom styled better, I will definitely let you see that. Okay guys, super quick video. Um, next up is a thrift haul. So until I see you again, happy thrifting.